I gotta tell you, I'm closer to probably John Daly than I am to Arnold Palmer. Oh, me and too. So you just yeah. throw a little splash of vodka in my Arnold Palmer, and I'm surprised that John Daly isn't just a bush light with like <laughs> some lemon juice squirted in it. That's that's kind of what I would figure. Inspired by the adventures of our nurses, therapists, and techs, A Beer with Atlas is the only healthcare traveling, craft beer drinking podcast. Each week, we'll open a few beers, talk about the brewery and the style of beer, and then dive into some research curated specifically for each episode. In the end, we hope each one sounds like a conversation you'd have with your friends while enjoying a few cold ones. Twenty twenty is almost over. Welcome to another episode of A Beer with Atlas. I'm Rich. I'm Brian. And I'm ready for this year to end. Yes. True that. <laughs> Four weeks of cleaning out the beer fridge. We've got week one. Uh Marzen? Yeah, Marzen style, yeah. A Saison. Yeah. A Saison. And a sour. Yeah. So one from uh one from Aaron Biddle. Yep. One from one of our travelers. Yes. One from uh, myself. There we go. So there we go. Yeah. Three different, three... Very uh, different styles. Yeah. I I was going to say couldn't be more different, but I guess in a way they couldn't be more different. Yeah. It fit in a flight. I I, I would order it. Anything that fit in a flight. Yeah. 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 It fit in a flight. Yeah. (laughs) Spoiler alert, I've had two of these. We've always said like... Man, is there a beer? Is there? Are we ever going to get a beer that we don't like? Yeah, one of these I don't like. Oh boy, I've had none of these three. Hmm. Okay, don't tell us. I will not. I want to guess. I will not. Okay, let's okay. start with the beer. We've never had a New Jersey beer. Let's do it. Okay, so we'll start with the New New Jersey beer, Skyway Saison. Yes, from New Jersey Beer Company. Saison hmm. brewed with chamomile. Doesn't get more New Jersey than the New Jersey Brewing Company. Weird. Okay. Chamomile, grains of paradise, and grapefruit peel. Yeah, I, I wrote hmm. that down. It's and a, it's 5.5%. It's an so odd. Right on the, fi- right on the, I guess, the main level for um, Saisons. Fun fact uh, President of Atlas Medstaff is from New Jersey. He is yes. from well, New York. New York. New York. Close. New York. But he spent Close. Some, yeah, he has been to New Jersey, though. Multiple, okay. I mean, y- you don't grow up in upstate New York and not spend any time in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Okay. I mean, that's just, y- y- you just don't. Uh, Grains of Paradise. I remember Grains of Paradise from the Boston Beer Company mm-hmm. commercials back in the day. Yeah. When he's talking about Sam Adams' Boston Lager. They use the they use the Grains of Paradise. This looks nothing like that beer. No. Uh-uh. I like Light. the can art. Got a very floral smell. Whoa. Almost, there's a little fruitiness, yeah. maybe? Well, uh, hopefully that's the grapefruit I'm peel. not a fan of Saison. And I usually am not either. I'm not either. Like uh, if it's summertime no. and there's a Kolsch mm. and a Saison and an Imperial Stout, I'm going to take Imperial Stout. Because <laughs> I don't like those other two styles. So I've said it in the past, and I, I think I'd drink a Stout on the beach. So <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. this is not normally my jam. I, oh man. Okay, but we'll see. Let's give this a shot. Yeah. Hmm. That's that's a saison. That's exactly a saison. Yeah. Actually, you know what? But it tastes better than normal for yes, me. Yes, it, it really does. It almost has a honey flavor to it. That's exactly what that is. But I don't think it has honey. But that's what it tastes like. No, but that I think that's that grains of paradise. Could though. be. Like, I think that's that flavor. I'm definitely getting the chamomile. No, mm. my uh, maybe that's what it is. That's my wife's favorite tea. I can pick that out right away. Hmm. Oh. I, even on the breathe out, like you you swallow it and you breathe out. There's mm-hmm. what is that? That is that chamomile. Is I think that's what that is. I feel like you guys are just setting me up. Are we? Oh, because here's a home run. Are you ready? Hit it. Yeah, chamomile. I did a little chamomile research. Oh, because I was like, I know that name. Okay, but I don't know nothing else about it. I don't either. It's a daisy-like plant. So you know the flower, a white flower with a yellow circle. Daisy. It's got petals. Hmm. Not daisy from uh, Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> I was going tombstone, but go ahead. Um, this is prominently featured in this beer, and it, and you'll usually see it in tea, like Dolan said, or like saisons. That's pretty much where you're going to get chamomile. Okay. Hmm. It's not, uh, not something that you usually see around. Um, they have... 
a long history of being used for herbal remedies or medicinal stuff. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to do things to your body, right? The name chamomile means earth apple (laughs) and on the ground. So it's good for you and you find it on the ground. That's the name chamomile. There you get. Most common, there's two types. German, of course. Thank you. And then Roman slash English slash garden chamomile. I'm guessing that's what we've got here. Yep. Um, it's used in teas. It's used in mouthwash, soap, cosmetics, and skin mm. cream. So these are all things that are good for you, except for the beer part, I guess. I guess. Um, what? Here's something I didn't know. <laughs> Don't <laughs> confuse. And I think huh? we're, we're probably safe. But it's known to cause, this is chamomile, uterine contractions. Oh. Huh. So pregnant women should not drink chamomile because oh. you might have a baby earlier than you want to. Interesting. Huh. Okay. It also has been sometimes linked to treating cancer, um, breast huh. cancer, ovary, and utero cancer. If you are allergic to ragweed, which a lot of people are around Nebraska, yes, you might be allergic to this. It's really? in the same kind of family. Oh. And it's normally, if it's in a beer, it's used as a bittering agent. So mm. instead of adding hops, you might add chamomile uh which is just the whole plant uh in tea they just use the leaves but in beer and stuff probably here they use the whole plant and in my house at least um beatrix potter her to her yes we the poo right i think it's mo- um maybe is that not right no that's a a mill and i'm sorry um beatrix potter yes peter rabbit yes yeah. right and it has a whole bunch of other characters there's a hedgehog and Thank you. Yes. a bunch of other characters too yep um once he gets away from Mr. McGregor in the garden, his mom gives him chamomile tea to calm him down. Uh, so a very English mm. sort of thing, especially in, in like uh, 1800s England okay. times. So that's a little bit of chamomile information for us on this saison. I could see where you get the bittering from. Mm-hmm. That, that definitely was mm-hmm. a, is what that is. Do yeah. you like chamomile tea? Have you, uh, I don't tea? think I've ever had it. Chamomile uh, no. tea? Not straight, no. Um. It is best, in my opinion, with just a little bit of milk and a little bit of honey. It makes you go to sleep, right? I mean, it's like a sleepy time. It's, uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I've never used it to go to sleep. I just, like, if if I have tea, it's one of the ones that I prefer. Just is it because, hot? It's a hot tea? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We drink it as a hot tea. You can drink it as a cold tea, but, or an iced tea, I guess. But, uh, I don't know. I I prefer my tea a little bit. Warmer. Warmer. Mm-hmm. I, I think that that honey and floral note probably goes good with this chamomile, yeah. I would assume. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as saisons go, this is pretty good. I, it's probably one like of the I better. Would drink, like if I was at a brewery, mm-hmm. I would drink this. If yep. I got a taster and I was like, all right, I'll 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 do the pint. All right. I probably I, would. Yep. I will say I've never had a saison that I've... I mean, it's always been rough for me to try to finish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one, I it, it's obviously not my favorite but yeah. I will still finish it. Yeah. And it's still I would still consider it good beer. There's a there's a pungentness to a saison that other beers don't have. Yeah, mm-hmm. that earthiness. Yes. Yeah. That the, or it reminds me of perfume sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. 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 And that's I think either people really like that or they really don't. And I usually don't like I it. usually don't. No. Yeah. Now I went through a phase where I would order the saison just because I thought I would stay away from stouts. Oh. Because I was dumb and I didn't think I liked stouts, <laughs> I, I you know porters things like that. I would order the other light herb beers first, mm-hmm. and then and then I learned quickly I don't like I don't like saisons. I don't like hefeweizens. I yeah. don't hefeweizen with the weird banana clove flavors. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. not that's not my jam at all. Or just like farmhouse ales in general. Yes. Yeah, I struggle with. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the things that Goose Island is known for. Mm-hmm. Other than their now their Bourbon County stouts, they have a bunch of big bomber size like farmhouse ales farmhouse mm-hmm. so right that's a, a brewery that well, has a lot of those different i mean styles. Uh, the king arguably the king right is not too far in kansas city boulevard so, right exactly yeah. so i mean i i guess i could see why they would do that new jersey beer company located at 4201 tonell avenue t-o-n-n-e-l-l-e tonell yeah there you go in north bergen new jersey so Bergen County. Yeah. Here's here's what I thought was interesting. This is I, I would I would attribute this maybe more to a West Coast thing, but this was very prominent on their on their website. Besides the fact that 
right there, there was a button that says like us on untapped, oh. which is the first place I've ever yeah. seen. The, you know, like, like us or follow us on sure. untapped. Um, six block walk from the Tonell Avenue light rail station. They encourage you to use the light rail. Oh, that's cool. Which, okay, I, I, that's fine. I guess maybe you don't, it's only six blocks. It's not that far. Yeah. And yeah. maybe their parking is rather limited and they don't want you drinking and driving. So, yeah. All right. But like I said, I would attribute that more to a West Coast thing maybe than an East Coast thing. East Coast would be like, yeah, I don't give a fuck how you get here. <laughs> Taxi or something. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Who cares? Who cares how you get here? Just come drink our beer. Yeah. yeah whatever. That's my best East Coast impression. <laughs> <laughs> walking here. Hey, walking get out of here. I'm walking here. <laughs> a lot of, yeah, a lot of New York, but uh, it's sure. close. Yeah. Uh, they just updated their hours. Uh, Thursday and Friday open 4 to 9. Saturday and Sunday open 2 to 9. Closed Monday through Wednesday. So pretty limited. Yeah tap room hours yeah mm. founded in 2010 so only 10 years old uh this is this is interesting so i couldn't find the names of the brewers they said a small passionate brewing team of three guys started it in 2010 then one year later so 2011 hudson county real estate developer and beer enthusiast paul silverman was named chairman and invested in the brewery mm. so i assume he became you know, he became majority shareholder guy, yeah. or whatever. The brewers just wanted a brew beer. They didn't want to necessarily own a brewery mm, or, yeah. or, you know, or whatever. I don't, who cares? It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Mm, they're, right. they're brewing the beer. Some other dude was running the company, running the brewery. Uh, so yeah, for nine years, it's been, it's been this guy. Uh, I, I clipped this out. They've got some other fun beers on their website. Yeah. I would love to try. I noticed that too. Uh, I clipped this out, just about this beer in particular. Uh, this is what they wrote about it. A tribute to the iconic grandeur of the Pulaski Skyway in our own Hudson County. The brew features Pilsner malt with a touch of wheat and Munich malts, then spiced with grains of paradise, grapefruit peel, and chamomile. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I assume that's probably why I like it, because it's it's close enough to a Pilsner. Yeah. With just a little bit of extras. A little bit of flavors. Yeah. Yeah. So you mentioned something that I did a little research on, hmm. which was the Pulaski name and the Skyway. I wondered about that. So as someone here at, at Atlas who does a lot of background checks, yep, um, hmm. I see Pulaski is a name that comes up a lot. There's a lot of counties named after him. Oh. Uh, there's a big section of Chicago that has his name. There's a song by Sufjan Stevens. It's called Casimir Pulaski Day. Uh-huh. And it's kind of all over... The United States, the name Pulaski. Okay. I was like, why is he faint? What What does he have to do with anything? Why would they name a bridge after this guy? Right. I found out why. Oh. Hmm. He was, his name was Casimir, but it's spelled K, not like the um, Van pops. Halen, Van oh. And Halen. not like that. It's K, it's actually C-A-S-I-M-I-R, Pulaski. Hmm. He was from Poland. He was a Polish soldier. Wow. And he was kind of like in Europe known as like, the best cavalry, uh, like sergeant or whatever. Okay, like he was. That was his area of expertise. Yep. And Ben Franklin writes him a letter, and he's like, "Hey, we got this, uh, we got this skirmish going on over here, <laughs> and uh, we could sure use your help." And he says, "You know what? All right, I'll do it." So he comes over to the United States to help us win the Revolutionary War. When Ben Franklin writes you a letter, yeah, yeah, you might answer it, yeah. So he's now known as the father of the American cavalry. Hmm. Um, and he did like a little bit of battle in the southern front of the of the revolutionary battle. Okay. So in the New Jersey area, down the east coast. Um, that was a bad pour. Uh, <laughs> he basically scared off the French that were helping the English at the time. And he was killed in, in battle in Georgia, in Savannah, Georgia. Um, now there are some, and this was interesting to find out, but they, I don't know, not interred, but deterred his bones. They dug him up basically. Right. Ooh, okay. They kind of find out where he was. He wasn't buried in a cemetery. He was just buried on this plantation in this area. So they dug up his bones and they did a research on him. And he had a lot of feminine features in his skeleton. Okay. So there's this. Like scientific theory going around that maybe this guy was a woman, either dressed as a man, because yeah. that happened in the Civil War quite a yep. bit, 
um, or in, even also the Revolutionary War. Or it was like just somebody who was born a woman and said they were a man and was in battle and very, like, really good at it. Let's so, be honest. Like, transgender isn't something mm-hmm. that just came up a couple of years no, ago. For this sure. has been happening for a long, long time. So potentially this, this was one of those cases. Interesting. Uh, they're not sure. That's just recently, within the last couple of years, they uh, found the bones in Savannah, Georgia. Um, also, Savannah, Georgia, just as an FYI, is one of the most haunted cities in the United States. So that's huh. I'd love to go to Savannah. I would too. I've never yeah. been, but um, but that's the name. So if you ever see Pulaski, especially like in the Chicago area, mm-hmm. Pol because it's Polish is up in Chicago quite a bit. Um, that's where it comes from. That's it's this military person that helped us kick the French out of the southern side of the United States. They were fighting with England mm. and uh, helped us cement a victory and be the United States that we are today. There's a there's a line in a Band of Horses song down to Savannah. Like mm. I, I ever since I oh, I, I love Band of Horses. Band of horses. So good. I, it's just a great band. Anyway, yeah, I've I've wanted to go to Savannah from ever since I've heard that. Uh, I'm I'm a I used to be a fan of uh, oh what's her name the chef that lives down there. You know mm. what I'm talking about Paula Dean. Oh yeah, Paula Dean. Oh. Throw some butter in it. Put Don't butter. forget your butter, y'all. Oh. That was just the main ingredient, number one. Yep. Yeah. She yep. lives in Savannah, Georgia. So there you go. That's what I know about Pulaski. That's the name of the bridge on the can. Huh. That's super interesting. Who, yeah. Who would have ever thought we'd cross over into transgender on this? That yeah, in, in Revolutionary War battle. Who yeah. knew? I Weird. didn't. Yeah. I really like the, the art, too. I, I thought, can. I thought... Out of all of these, this would be the one that I liked the least, mm-hmm. even though I've had two of the three of them. So you hadn't had that one. I have not had okay. this one. This is number one so far, and I've drank the other two, and I can tell you this is number one. I would order this again. Yeah. Hmm. It's just enough Pilsner with just enough other flavors in it. Yeah. There. It's, it's almost, not overpowering. No. Which is nice. Cause sometimes with those saisons, yeah. it's just like you're too chewing much. flowers. Yeah, too yeah. much. And you know, the thing about this one for me is it's the first time I've had a saison that I'm like okay with drinking mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and so if, if if i were had to if i had to go back and somebody was like oh try this saison it's good i think maybe my initial um judgment of saison beers would be different mm-hmm. sure yeah yeah that makes sense all right let's move on to the next one four hands four hands brewing we we're familiar with these guys yeah we last visited their one of their beers on episode number 48 Oh, that was a while ago. It was a while ago. The Love Rock one, or no, no, what was it? Think again. SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, oh the pineapple oh, one. The pineapple. Yeah. One. Yes, yeah. which we all really liked. Yeah, we did. Yes. So, Mars and Style Lager. This is their Oktoberfest, mm. right? And you know how much I love Oktoberfest. And this is one of the two he's had. Ooh, we're having Oktoberfest. Past October, yeah, yeah. It's December fest, December fest. But look at the color; it's already not an October fest. It's not. It is as oh. light as I mean. If you want to, if you're drinking Bush a, Light Miller it says Light, Mars and style lager. It's Mars and style. That's what it says, huh. and it huh. is a very October fest looking label. Oh yeah, it's got like that the, looks like the Germany checkers all over and it. yep, yeah, the checkers and everything. Here's what I've noticed from these guys. Best beer. From the time that we did their beer back uh-huh. in on episode forty eight, over a year ago, they have considerably changed their labels. Really? If you go look at their website now, their labels are off the charts awesome. Oh. Awesome. Okay. Whereas before uh, I mean, okay, so you could you could see the, the connection back to SpongeBob, Bikini Bottom, sure. Pineapples or whatever. They almost it seems like they've found an identity of their own with these labels. So this where it one says Fest beer, yeah, it almost looks like graffiti, which is pretty cool. Yep, or like yeah. a like a forearm tat. Yes. <laughs> like a Can I just style. say that that growing up with farmer friends and stuff, I've seen chickens being plucked. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> it looks chicken. like a, a chicken being plucked. <laughs> like yeah, like you're a quarter of the way through. <laughs> That's what yeah. it looks like. So um, so four hands is located just outside of downtown St. Louis, Missouri, uh, in LaSalle Park. The LaSalle Park neighborhood, which I've been to a number of times, okay. uh, at one two two zero South Eighth Street. Open Monday through Wednesday, one to eight. Thursday and Friday, one to ten thirty. Saturday, eleven to ten thirty, because you got to get some college football games. Right, in yeah, there, hmm. right. Sunday noon, college uh, high sure. NFL football, right, yep. to seven thirty. 
Yep. Well, then you might sneak in some of that. What is it? St. Louis Billikens college basketball. Oh. Sometimes they're pretty good. In possibly. The, in the MAC or whatever mm-hmm. they're in or the yep. Missouri Valley Conference. Yep. So, no mention of the St. Louis This Cardinals. tastes uh, maltier than it looks for me. Okay. It's like a sneaky beer. Whoa. Don't call this a Mars and style. This is this is where we're going to. I, I love Oktoberfest. I love Oktoberfest beers. Yeah, I love the darkness, the maltiness, the roastiness, mm-hmm. every bit of it. This is a lager with some Marzen flavor sprinkled on top. It might be, but it tastes good. It if you didn't know what came out of that can, and they just poured it in a glass and gave it to you, I'd say this is a good lager. Mm. Oh man, yeah. I see. This is this is where it's weird for me because like. I smell the Oktoberfest, but when I taste it, I am, I'm definitely with Rich here. It, it tastes more like a lager. Yeah, to me, to me, and I don't. I know that craft beer can be broken up into lagers and ales, mm-hmm. and maybe it falls more into the lager category. But it still. is still, but it's not a Marzen style Oktoberfest. And this is where I. Uh, I didn't pay attention. Generally, I will not drink beers before we do them on the podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they were back there in the beer fridge, and it, it said Mars the style, and I like, I like yeah. Oktoberfest, and it's December, and I'm going to still drink them. And I drank it ahead of time and thought the exact same things. Hmm. It says on the can, I can see it from here, it pairs with bratwurst and pretzels. Yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no. Stop lying. It pairs with hot dogs and bread. <laughs> I feel like Don't lie. in the last few weeks, the only thing that wouldn't pair with a bratwurst or a pretzel is the peppermint beer that we had. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Everything else, I, pff, come on. <laughs> I, here's the thing. I, all the credit in the world to a brewery in St. Louis, Missouri, that has to compete against the juggernaut. The, yeah, the big boy. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, when, when the when the empire lives in your backyard and you're brewing beers. Mm-hmm. You, Especially when they're known for that kind of beer. Right, right. No. right. Oh, more power to you. However, ugh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> not quite that. So if you, I mean, to me, this tastes like a good beer. I don't care what it says. I, you know, <sighs> I'd be upset if I bought it thinking I was going to get a amber right. bomb. Yes, you know. Yes. Uh, but I also had, I don't remember who made it this year, an Oktoberfest lager. Mm call it that and it was very similar to this and it was very good okay i think it was um out of colorado odell no it was um crooked stave oh it, they made one it does yeah. say mars and style lager on the can okay fine so maybe it's supposed to be more lager and maybe less you got Marzen? hung up on the mars in part i, I don't got, know i got hung up on the mars in part either way i still agree with you that yeah. it's not it's not as Carmely, I guess, as a as a as a as a Mar- Oktoberfest. To be fair, it does not say Oktoberfest anywhere. Yeah, but it does because if you look at the label and you see all those checkers. <sighs> yep, I was just that's say. what's that's telling your brain. Oh, this is Oktoberfest time. Yeah. And but it, it's it five point eight. It isn't the typical blue and white. No, either. true. Right. It's that's all true. teal. So <laughs> maybe they're just yeah. It is. <laughs> Rich it is. is like ah whatever. It's, it's just a lager with the marzen sprinkled. <laughs> so it's just a, so it's just a knockoff. Then I mean, mm. is that what you're saying? Is mm. it just, it's a, just a different style? It's like I like f- it. I think it's good. <sighs> okay, it, for what it is. Mm-hmm. You're right. If there was no label on it, it just said beer. They just said it said here's <laughs> lager. Yeah. Okay, great, yeah. and that's what it says. I know. No, it says Mars and style. Mars and style. Mars lager. and style. Yeah. And then it's got a no. uh, quarter plucked chicken on it. <laughs> chicken <laughs> or turkey or something. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's a phoenix. Mm-hmm. I don't know. If you are if you are familiar with St. Louis beer, so definitely go check out their website. I think it's just like fourhands. Yeah. Dot com or yeah. whatever. It's... They have one of the best milk stouts I've ever had in my life. Oh. It comes from them. Super good. Yeah, and excuse me, I was thinking that the uh, the Love Gun beer was from Four Hands. That is uh, Mother's Brewing Company yeah, out of St. Louis. There you Louis. go, yeah. Still St. Louis, though. Still, still sent to us by Aaron Biddle, yeah. who does appreciate a good beer. I like that. I think it's fine. It's not my favorite. I, will... I like it better than the Saison. Uh, I almost like the Saison better. Oh, boy. Yeah, and I don't like Saisons. Yeah. I Ooh. can't get past it pretending to be something else. 
I, I, this isn't even a I label thing. I you're inferring. Thing. I am inferring. You're right. <laughs> you're, you're inferring. Right. They might have, this is, might be exactly what they want it to be. Okay. Yeah. And only because I had one earlier this year do I kind of recognize like that's what it's supposed to be. Because mm. normally you don't see this. Yeah. But I did have one earlier this year, and it was it was really good. So, do you have? I know you said you have research for two of the three beers. Mm-hmm. You got anything here? Do you want nope. to move on to the next? No, nope, we can move on. Okay. Okay. This is probably the most unfair out of all of them. Oh, this last one. I have the most research on the last and one, and that's fine because every beer I've had from these guys has been on point. This one, however, again because of the name. Doesn't hit it for me. Oh, okay. This one is from Cosmic Eye Brewing yeah. in Lincoln, Nebraska, right down the road from us. Yeah. Right? Your uh our friend, Daryl, uh-huh, who I've never met before, but yeah. we seem to be friends on Facebook. And sure. We share a lot of uh commonality. Uh it's called Famous Golfer, Sour Ale with Black Tea. Yeah. I love an Arnold Palmer. Okay. Like a really, really well made Arnold Palmer. Sure. Okay. That's what I thought I was getting. I never had one. You've never had an Arnold no. Palmer? Really? Super no. good. Um, oh. oh. Arguably the best drink in the world. Well, mm. I, I won't agree I, with that, but I well, will. I will. What about a twisted tea? S- similar. Yeah, tea. I like similar. Tea, yeah. Had those. Yeah. I will back Rich up and say that one of the first drinks, when I first met Rich, we went to this restaurant really close to Alice called Cunningham's. Cunningham's. Mm. And that was one of the first things that he ordered. And. Mm hmm. I thought it was, I thought it was weird that he ordered an Arnold Arnold Palmer. Yeah, Arnold Arnold. It is Palmer. weird, but he's it done is. it probably three or four times. Yep. that I've been out to lunch with him. So yeah, yeah. Half huh. tea, half I, half tea, half lemonade. Oh, Delicious. believe me, we're gonna get into oh, it. Oh, I can't wait. We are gonna get into it. Here's here's where I go. Here's where I go sideways with you because I love I. It, I'll do the cosmic eye research here in a, in a little bit. Sure. Let's talk about Arnold Palmer's first. Okay, but. Everything that Cosmic Eye has done has been unique and fun and different. And I see what they're trying to do here. I want you to try it. Now, now not have, having a Arnold Palmer. Might is be, it a sour or is it a goza? Um, it, it says, says sour, sour ale. Okay. Sour ale. Um, I will see why you why you expected a Ar- Arnold Palmer. from Because right. right on the can it says, our take on the half lemonade, half iced tea. Yes. Drink made sp- Famous by certain pro golfer. They didn't want to pay royalties. Palmer, yeah. Right, exactly. Equally at home on the golf course, backyard grill outs, or the lick. I, it, fine. They're trying to do a beer that, because typically their beers, which we'll get into a little bit, are, are heavier, different. Mm-hmm. You're not going to the lake with a six pack right. of Cosmic Eye no. unless it's this. Sure. Never. Unless you're Brian Peterson and yeah, and you want to have a like cosmic a eye stout correct, double um, Baltic IPA. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because that they love those dark IPAs there. Yep, can't hardly find a black IPA anywhere. Okay, so for me that tastes it tastes like a shandy, but less sweet, and there's some tea finish. Mm, yeah, that's okay. what I get. It's it's if it was sweeter, I probably would like it more. Oh man, this is piss. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm not sure I like that at all. Wow. This might like be the first beer I don't finish. How many mm. episodes now? Over a hundred. Oh, yeah, this over is the first time Dolan and this has is not a this is not a stab at Cosmic Eye. I like some of Cosmic Eye's beers. You I'm know? gonna get into them a little bit here after oh, a bit. Man. They've mm. got they've done some great stuff. Yeah, they have. And and in fact, the first Cosmic I had I had was at that Cunningham's restaurant. Mm-hmm. And it was amazing. So mm. I, I'm gonna guess it was the eye of the basilisk. It was the eye of the yeah, basilisk. Was, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Do, give me your research here, because then we will do the cosmic eyes. Because I feel like we're doing them a disservice. All right. Well, let's let's do this first. Okay. So I've been to this place mm-hmm. a couple times. Yep. It's in an old Laser Quest building <laughs> in Lincoln. So it used to be a Laser Quest spot. Nice. Yeah. Now it's a brewery. They kept the floor oh, the same. So you have Laser Quest floor in this brewery. In that is tap so room. awesome. I did not know this. Some of the play, Here's some of the other names of their beers. So this will just give you an idea of the kind of folks that run the place. Yep. Your Friend Death. <laughs> <laughs> the Dark Between the Stars. Unlock the Time Dragon. 
gaze of the basilisk we talked about. Mm -hmm. Everything has eyes. Mm -hmm. Call of the wolf mama, which is like a double rye IPA, I think, or mm -hmm. a red IPA. Mm -hmm. um, head brewer owner Sam Riggins, I think is his name. Sam and Michelle Riggins. There yes, you go. So Sam Riggins, yes. They are metalheads. <laughs> Their name comes from a Mastodon song. Yes. Mastodon. Yeah. yeah. Are one of the heaviest bands ever. Yes. Mm -hmm. So ever. one of the days I went there, this was last year, and it was before Halloween. It was probably September. Beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Went in there. They were having a, like an anniversary party or a beer release thing. We went there. We sat in the tap room. Uh, it was packed. So they had overflow seating in the where they actually brew the beer. Mm -hmm. So in the brewery part, we could sit. And we're sitting there, and they had two huge tables set up for crafts for kids to make stuff. Oh. So it's like a family-friendly thing. Yep. But then they're playing Mastodon in the background. Yes. Or I think I heard Black Sabbath that day. Mm -hmm. And it was a – no, it was like a, maybe it was an IPA release day. Whatever it was, you could buy – this beer right off the canning line. You could watch them can it and buy your six pack. Nice. Right off, right off the thing. And uh, they had food trucks there. Um, it's right around 70th and O Street in Lincoln. If you're familiar with that area, it's right by East Park Plaza. Um, but yeah, they're mostly I would say known for IPAs, and that sort of style of beer and malty stuff. Yep. Uh, that's that's what I have on the brewery itself. So. But, I wrote down a couple more. Okay. I, I, I crossed these out as you as you said them. Okay. Dead Man's Run. It's another Dead Man's one. Run is a creek that runs through Lincoln. Uh, round and Round, which I think might be the It's a most, rap song, isn't it? Right, exactly. Yeah. Like most mainstream of all of uh -huh. them. Straight for the Sun, which is their session IPA. Mm. And then Laser Quest 2.0, which is their pale made with hibiscus. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, it, it, I think I've had that one, actually. Just as just as an aside here, February 2020, they were the grand champion in the American Black Ale category. Yeah. But, I'm sorry. Yes, American Black Ale for their black IPA. Uh-huh. Is that what it is? Yeah, they're, they're like one of the only breweries in Nebraska that makes a black IPA. And they like, won like at, in the United States Beer Tasting Championship. Like mm -hmm. this isn't this isn't just like, oh, you, you enter this or whatever. Yeah. They went through like multiple, they won the Midwest region with it. Yep. And then they went to the to the United national States one, to yeah. the national competition and won the grand prize. Yeah, for their black IPA. Yeah, and hardly anybody makes a black IPA. I, uh, like I think Surly makes one. Um, South Park Brewing again, they make one. Black Jolly, IPA, there Jolly Roger. I mm -hmm. love them. Yeah, you can't find them. So when yeah. you when you do get one, I like to get them because it's roasty. Mm-hmm. You have that roast of a stout or a porter, but then you get the hops of the IPA. Which, mm. I, you know what? Coming from a metal yeah. brewery, that doesn't well, surprise me yeah. one bit. Yeah. One bit. Um, as far as the beer itself goes, mm -hmm. they I think this is a year-round beer, not yeah. just a seasonal. I see what they're trying to do with it. They make, along with now, um, White Elm. And Boiler Brewing, mm -hmm. Cosmic Eye is doing weekly drops in Omaha. Mm -hmm. So you can order online, and they'll bring up your beer, and you can just go pick it up. Yep. I think it won, uh, this beer won best in the Midwest. For, this one? Yeah. This one? This beer. For the US BTC in 2020. So in the wow. summertime, okay, they won wow. for this beer. Excuse me. It was Eddie Line that made Jolly Roger. Eddie Line. Eddie Line. My go. brother drinks a lot of that stuff. There you go. Yes, Eddie Line. Um, iced tea. Yep. With a third lemonade. I, That's an ooh. Arnold Palmer. Right. It's not half and half. Right. No. So he orders it. We're going to get into the history now. Okay. Arnold Palmer finishes. He's at like Augusta. He's like the Masters, right? Oh, geez. Okay. And after his round, he goes into the clubhouse and he orders, hey, can I have a tea, an iced tea with a third lemonade? He had been toying with that at home and his wife always made it for him. Okay. So he starts ordering it in public. And that's how he orders it. And a woman, a woman, a woman hears him order that. And she's like, man, it actually was in Palm Springs. Okay. So California. She says, that sounds good. I'll have, I'll have an Arnold Palmer. Because Arnold Palmer is the guy that ordered it. Sure. 
So she doesn't know that, but she knows his name, <laughs> and that's how it gets its name. So it's called an Arnold Palmer because she ordered it right after he did in this clubhouse in Palm Springs. Okay. He makes a deal, business deal, with Arizona Tea Company. Still yes. around. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They use a half and half. Yeah. It's technically not correct. No. Because he's no. like a third, maybe not, not totally. Mm-hmm. He always said in an interview, iced tea must be the prominent flavor. Yes. It should not be more lemonade. Yep. yep. So whatever you want to do, that's fine. Just make sure that you can taste the iced tea. Fun that's, fact about Arizona tea. They've uh, kept their prices at 99 cents by just thinning their can every year. <laughs> <laughs> like thinning out the thinning the out the aluminum al- on their can. Yeah, it's like a four can. ounce can now. Yeah, because it started tall. out with like a pretty thick aluminum can. Yep. But now, if you go in and you feel the can, it's so thin. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but they've they've stayed true to, um, they've stu- they stayed true to their business model. They've kept it ninety nine cents. It's not bad. It's a little overly sweet for me. It's, but it yeah. is pretty sweet, you know. But I, yeah. I think it's because they use half and half. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that could be. So there's another take on this drink. Okay. Oh, yeah. The John Daly. Yes, it is. Mm. This happened in Florida, Fort Myers, <laughs> Florida, where all good things happen. Of course. And John Daly is has golfed around, right? <laughs> and the bartender there, his name is Dayton Lewis. This is in 2005. The golf tournament is called the, Date, the Dirty... Gator Open, <laughs> which sounds perfect for John Daly. Yes. And he comes up with a drink. Okay. It's an Arnold Palmer with vodka. That's <laughs> oh, it. That's all it is. I've never had one of those, but I am, I'm down. <laughs> so he says, here you go, John Daly. As you know, if you, if you know about John Daly, he's known for crazy pants, smoking cigarettes, and boozing. Like, he's, <laughs> he's a partier. Yeah. Well... He decides, you know what? I think I should own the name John Daly. It's my name. And he sues. <laughs> of course he does. And then he starts his own company. Okay. And he sues for trademark infringement. And he starts a company called Giabi, which is G I A B I. No, I lied. Giasi, G I A S I, which stands for Grip It and Sip It. G I A S I grip yes. it and sip it because nor- he's known okay. for it, grip it and rip it. Sure, that's his philosophy. Yep, hit it as hard as you can. Right. This is now so he he makes these now, um, bottled in Fairfield, California. Okay, his company starts in 2013. Yeah, they now have distribution in 13 states, including California, Nevada, Arkansas, which is where he's from. Yep, Texas, Illinois. They're 30 proof. They make three different flavors. Mm-hmm. They have the regular John Daly. They have a peach oh. John Daly. Mm. And then they have a strawberry. Mm. So strawberry lemonade with vodka. So that would probably be the one I would I would Are choose. Are they canned? Is it a can? Yes, it's in cans. Interesting. So almost like a like a spritzer or a seltzer can, mm-hmm. like that sort of thing. Um, it's carbonated, and you could buy them in those states. It does not get around here, but... Mm. 13 states is better than none, I guess. You say Illinois, is that right? Illinois is one, uh, yes. I'm going to I'm gonna hit up my Illinois friends. There you go. We need, to, we need to try this. Or Arkansas. We got some pals down in Arkansas. Oh, good call. Yeah. yeah. And that's where he's from. So yep. it, I'm guessing it has more to do in Arkansas than some spots. All right. I'm going to hit up my Arkansas friends now, too. So, uh, And then there's one other tie-in. Not to be outdone. Okay. I don't think he had anything to do with it. But they just gave a nod because Arnie's a little classier than John Daly. Maybe just a little. On the website I found, there's something called an Arnie's Gimlet Slush. <laughs> so it's a six ounce of vodka. Mm-hmm. So a couple shots-ish. Sure. Uh, five ounces of simple syrup. Mm-hmm. Only four ounces of black tea. Cold brewed, if you can. So like a Lipton or whatever you want to do. Sure. Um, three ounces of fresh lime. Two cups of ice. Blend it. Put it all in the blender, blend it up. There you go. An Arnie's Gimlet Slush. That that sounds amazingly like Arnold Palmer. Like, I mean, yeah. if he's if he's gonna have the fancy John Daly, then that's it. That's what you're right. doing. So, right. and that one sounds good. Like, I would I would try that one. 
That's probably like a twenty dollar drink at some fancy spot. Probably because they have to use the simple syrup in the blender. But. I gotta tell you, I'm closer to probably John Daly than I am to Arnold Palmer. Oh, me and too. So you just yeah. throw a little splash of vodka in my Arnold Palmer and. I'm surprised that John Daly isn't just a Bush Light with like some lemon juice squirted in it. That's that's kind of what I would figure. Bush Light said no. We said, They're like, no, nah, nah, we can't have you I don't associated so. with our brand. No, that's 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 it's a, a bit latte. Much. No, thank no. you. No, no, no. Oh boy. Uh, so, Cosmic Eye. I I see what they're trying to do. I understand in in their way, maybe more so now than ever. I understand what they're trying to do with this beer. Mm-hmm. Um. 2020, so earlier back in February of this year, uh, they were named the by RateBeer.com, so pretty prevalent beer site, yeah. named the best new brewery in Nebraska. Opened in 2018, so not okay. too long ago. Named the best new brewery in Nebraska. Rate Beer is a site that, if you go to Hy-V, which is our big grocery store, mm-hmm. they have Rate Beer ratings sometimes on the yep. shelves. Yep. Yeah, I've seen that before. That yeah. Hmm. So I see what they're trying to do for an Arnold Palmer fan, which I obviously am. You are, yeah. It misses the mark for me. And for me, I've never had one. Mm-hmm. This tastes good. Okay. Oh, but I would me. only want it in the summertime. Like, this is a summer beer. Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe in January, this is probably not the. Yeah. Or I guess December. Is it December 30th? today somewhere in there yeah. yeah right around there fun fact we record beforehand we're drowning it out 2020 <laughs> yes sir but um yeah you know i i like the arizona tea arnold palmers mm. um i stick to just the the tea i i'm not a huge fan of arnold palmers palmers in general um i i don't know about this one i love cosmic eye but this one is just not my thing out of the Eight Lincoln breweries, mm-hmm. and I think there might be more now. Quite honestly, probably. I think, yeah. uh, last count, now that Blue Bloods doesn't exist anymore, sure. uh, I, this is probably my my number two or three brewery. Probably, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I would go Boiler first, then White Elm, then sure. these guys, and then Zipline. Not that I I, I appreciate Zipline for what it is, mm-hmm. and but it what Zipline does and what the other these other three ahead of them do are completely different. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Completely different. Yeah. So while Zipline may have more popular following, mm-hmm. Boiler and White Elm and Cosmic Eye might be doing They're different making stuff. different stuff. Way yes. different. All the time. Yeah. Zipline Way always pretty different. much has the same yeah. stuff. Yeah. And see, Zipline's my, I would say my number two Lincoln Brewery. Yeah. Because I like bringing my in-laws there. You know, they're not, <laughs> they always joke around. Like Thanksgiving, they were like, Oh, you you brought that fancy beer. I'm like, this beer cost me two dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but uh, Copper Alt is maybe like a Nebraska standard. Exactly. It is now, yeah, yeah. Right? It's kind of co- like Lucky Bucket. Yeah, it's yeah. just expected yeah. to be mm-hmm. around. Yeah. yeah, you bring the Copper Alt around my in laws. Stuff. Too. They're they're right. all about it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right, Untapped. Untapped. Hmm. This <sighs> we starting with the. Uh... Let's start with. The Skyway, whatever the it was Skyway? called. New Skyway Jersey. Saison. Yeah. yeah. Skyway Saison. All right. Let's look that one up. Skyway Saison. Okay. You know, I let that little, that Marzen, the forehands, mm-hmm. Marzen style lager warm up a little bit, and I liked it better. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though it's weird for a lager. Yeah. You know, I I think the Marzen came out more the, warm up, the more go. warmed up. All right, 343 check-ins. That's it? Not much. Wow. Holy smoke. It must be a new one. <laughs> because I, yeah, that's not very much at all. What do you say? Where did we get this beer? Traveler? Uh, a traveler sent this to us, and I can't, oh, for the life of me, I cannot remember who, and I apologize. Well, we'll look it up and drop it in the link, yep. maybe. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say 3.59. I'm going to go 3.34. 3.57. Ooh. Wow. So close. Uh, close. Yeah. Close. I think yeah. I'd actually go higher than that for me. Uh, you know, I, it's one of the better saisons I've had. As saison goes, that's a four for yeah. me. Quite honestly, as saisons go, exactly. I was just going to say, as saisons go, that's a three five for me. Mm. Because go. it was, it, it, it didn't. It was have, drinkable. Yeah, it was yeah. overpowering in so many ways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, that's the issue. It's like drinking mm-hmm. your mom's perfume. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Not good. Too much flour. Flowery. Okay. <sighs> the forehands is a little bit different because I can't find it's. It, it'll take me a second here to find the the 
pluck turkey. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this would have been awesome because, as music goes, they have a they have a Belgian triple called Cycle Killer. Oh mm. yeah, That'd there would have been a great, been a great there. music tie-in for for that. Stop making sense. Um, movie research we could have done oh, from '84. Yes, Mars and Mars and it's called Fest Beer. Is it? Is that what the name of it yeah. is? B I E R Fest Beer by Four Hands. No, I'm not. Dolan's gonna have to do some creative editing here because I'm not <laughs> finding. Uh, in the Jeopardy theme. Fast beer by four hands. Nothing. Can't find it. <laughs> Nothing's in here for four hands. Okay, let's just go to the four hands. I found it. Did you find it? Yeah. All right, I'll guess then. Okay. Yeah. I can't. I can't guess here at all. Okay. So. Um. Okay. Fest. Fest beer. Four hands. Uh, Mars and style lager. Three point six three. I. Oh man, this is so hard to separate. Three point. Five two. Three point six seven. Oh. Yeah, you were almost there. I was so <laughs> close. I was close. Yeah. Now. Yeah. You want to look up Cosmic Eye? Yeah, sure. All right. I'll you look up that. Cosmic Eye. Did you check it in? I did not. Not yet. Okay. I have not Cosmic yet. Cosmic Eye. These I have not. Famous golfer. Okay. I've got it. What do you think? Oof. Famous, Famous golfer. golfer. Yeah. Um, 3.77. Oh, I, I should probably tell you how many check-ins, huh? Yeah, yeah tell me how many helps. check-ins. That was uh, not something I... What? I can't even... I, it, it's, it's not showing me. It should say it. You got to back out. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let da, me... Da, da, da. Okay. Da, da, Famous da, da. golfer. Dolan Cosmic Eye. Cosmic Eye <laughs> on the untapped... This is this is they it doesn't show a number. This is riveting right here. Okay, like oh, the only number it has on here is two hundred and fifty five. But that can't be right. It could be two hundred and fifty five right. check ins when there's no number? Yeah, there's 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 no number, but when I click into it it says two hundred and fifty five. That could be right. Wow. Really? I, I, I... Cosmic Eye? Yeah. You, uh... Maybe. I mean they they've only been around there's for no two distribution. years. Yeah. Yeah. Just true. To like the grocery store. That's it. It's not going nowhere else. Oh, I got it here. I got it. Okay, what is it? Seven hundred and forty five check ins. Seven hundred and forty five. This is the magic of untapped. Yeah. Yeah. Seven hundred and forty five check ins. I have checked it in one time and oh, I was generous. Oh. Okay. Have I checked it in? I hope not. You have not. No. I still go three seven seven. Okay. Um I'm gonna go three four. Three five four. Three five mm. four. Yep. Mm. Yep. What'd you go? <sighs> Three two five. Oh. Yep. Uh, okay. I guess that's gonna after... be the one of the lowest rated beers you've done on the show. Uh, possibly. I think I'm gonna go no, with no, solid no. one five. Oh <laughs> man. Yeah. I did Ouch. not like this one. I've checked some in pretty low before. I put, I'm pretty sure I've done like a point two five before. I have. I have. Yeah. Mm. I. I see. I'll do another three, two, five on the for these guys only because I like their other beers and I see what they're trying to do here. Yeah, I understand what they're trying to do with it. it you know, give somebody who is not a black IPA stout kind mm-hmm. of you know that the, the more metal kind of beer option. Sure. This yeah. is this is definitely more a. So what would they need to do to bump up the score for you? He needs more lemonade. It needs more, more lemonade. More lemon wow. flavor. Yeah. I think so. I mean, for me, it was a little, it was like a sour tea. You know what I mean? Right. Like, there wasn't any sweetness to no. it. No. Oh, okay. That's exactly yeah. where I was. I appreciated the black tea part of it. Right. Yep. So sweetness. I Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Give me, I, oh, I hate to do this to them, the twisted tea flavor. Yeah. Maybe. I understand how bad that sounds. I really yeah, do. That's, yeah. Yeah. Just a little more lemon, a little more, a little more sweetness, just a little bit. So, and what if you gave it like three fourths summer shandy, mm-hmm. fourth Louisiana tea? <sighs> Is that enough? <sighs> Too sweet? Yeah, I mean, honestly, you go half and half on that, and you'd be okay. Might be all right. I'd yeah, be interested totally to see be okay. how this beer would taste with just a little bit more like lemon peel yes. in the brew. Yes. 
Yeah. Okay. Not necessarily flavor, just essence. Like mm-hmm. the when you get the smell, but you don't get the flavor. The nose. Or yes. much like, you know, last week, you drop in the candy cane in the beer. What if yeah. you dropped a couple of lemon drops in here? Yeah. That, that mm, might be good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit of sweetness, mm-hmm. I guess. Well, I know one thing. We've never had a beer like it before. No. No, no, no. no, that's, no, no. True. that's true. And that's why I don't want to. I don't want to come down too hard on them because, it, yeah, it, it is completely different. Yeah. Well, and that's the that's the cool thing I think I found with breweries is like, they might make my favorite beer, but the same brewery also might make my most hated beer. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? And and that's the cool thing. Like I, I love Cosmic Eye, and I've had several of their beers that I love, but this one is just not there. You know. Gotcha. And I think that's okay. Because somebody yeah. else might like it. Yep. Yep. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. It yeah. doesn't get canned and released if somebody doesn't like it. Exactly. Right. For sure. Well, and that it fits into our theme of okay, it didn't make it into an episode, but it makes it into the year end episode. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So it, it's just different enough that we're gonna we're gonna get this in somehow yeah. one way or the other. So we're three, gonna talk about it. Three more weeks of them coming up. Yeah. Here. I wish I could give you a teaser. I have no idea. I can give us a teaser let me uh pull it up here hopefully okay Okay. heck yeah let's see here all right so week two we have a uh another platform beer which we had before yes we have Mm -hmm. uh we've got a hoppin frog and then we've got one from thomas yes a brewer's dark side out of also new jersey i think same brewery that does this Skyway one. Ooh, they're okay. brown. They're brown ale, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. And then episode three, we have a, an IPA called Open Door. Okay. okay. We have Beer for Tacos, which is like yes. a, oh. a IPA. Goza, I think. Oh, it, it's a is salty it? sour. And then one that's called Bird Up. Bird, Bird up. up. Yeah. Instead of Word Up. I think it's the code word. Bird Up. Mm-hmm. And then week four, we have another platform beer. Okay. We have also another platform beers we have three platform beers this oh. one's called fruit hoop <laughs> okay and then we have cigar city's oatmeal raisin cookie cigar city which another... you did to me on purpose i know <laughs> it, it's i i enjoy the brewery i know you love raisins so <laughs> no but, yeah yeah that's my least favorite one that bird sure. up one i don't know why but it brought me to well a bird bird bird, bird is, is the, the word. word i am the guy <laughs> I, bird up yeah bird up cameo we will, we will bird see. up I'll go back to the corn did a oh. cover of that song, which is pretty fantastic. Wow. We've had a lot of corn mentions in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Huh? Not great. Right. Mm-hmm. Speaking of bands, yeah. after all of this is over, we have a Pink Floyd episode coming. Yes. Yeah. 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 We're going to get weird. Crazy excited yeah. for. So we have a sour out of California called Careful With That Raspberry Eugene. Yes. Which mm-hmm. is a play on a Pink Floyd album song. So yep, yeah. I can't. I can't wait. We've got some fun episodes coming, so stick yeah, around. Twenty twenty one, I think is it's gonna be good. Ugh. It's gonna be a don't a, jinx a good it. year. Don't I'll, jinx it. I won't it. jinx it. God, I'm just, just gonna know, preview it. Say it's gonna uh, be good. I'm just gonna preview in in the beer with Atlas world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twenty twenty one is gonna be good. Yeah. By yeah. the end of all of this, we'll give you a. It, it, we only have a couple states that we haven't hit yet. Yeah. And so we'll give you a list of the states that we haven't hit yet. We've got to get end, those. By the end of 2021, we want to hit every state. Every state. It's like Pokemon. we got to collect them all. Got to catch them all. That's what you say. Yeah. Yes. Got to yes. drink them all. Got to drink them all. <laughs> Drop in the Pokemon song. <laughs> I was trying. Right here. Got to so. drink them all. Pokemon. <laughs> all right. <laughs> We're not going anywhere for a while. Let's go catch some Pokemon. <laughs> and forget 2020. Thank you for listening to A Beer with Atlas. Special thanks to our brand team for producing the show. Each episode of A Beer with Atlas is powered by Atlas Medstaff, an industry leader in travel healthcare staffing.